Hey guys, how you doing? So I don't remember when it was the last time that I video logged, so I'm doing one now. It is 7.57 a.m. on July 6th. I'm here at the Hiker Hut, and we're gonna give you a little tour. It's a great place to stay if you're through hiking. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the people here are awesome. Uh, there is no electricity. Just get that right out of the way. And the shower situation is a little bit interesting. But we'll take you down there and we'll show it to you. So there are a few gardens here. And uh, of course, a compost pile over there. Along with a uh, clothesline, all the usuals. Uh, right here is the bunkhouse. And here's Wildfire. I told her she was going to be in it, and she said, Hi. okay. <laughs> Actually, that's not what she said. She's like, I'm going to be gone before you do it. So here is the bunkhouse. Here is Green Man. We can move on. <laughs> so this is the bunkhouse. This is where I slept. All my stuff is now gone. Because I am leaving today. Took a zero yesterday. And a Nero in the day before. So I could rest my knees, ankles, feet, and get shoes instead of boots which hopefully will treat me well we'll see so here is the magnificent fancy kitchen get out of my kitchen get out of my and kitchen. here's steve get out of my kitchen the host <laughs> there's only room for one <laughs> and our i'll show you our fancy refrigerator this is excellent it's high tech You've never seen it before? There it is. The refrigerator. You've never seen a refrigerator like that. I guarantee it. It's very fancy. We have to refill it sometimes. And here is the A-frame that they stay in. And here is a lovely woman. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Catherine. <laughs> That's it? Uh... Well, I'm in the middle of the... Okay. She, she didn't want to talk right now. That's okay. <laughs> it's early morning. Martha's doing your stamp there. Ooh, she's making my stamp. That is a good reason not to. It's an awesome stamp. So, here's the uh, perpetual fire that pretty much never goes out. It's awesome. And here is Tea Berry. She doesn't want to talk right now. She's eating. And here is the resident... Howdy, howdy. Semi-resident. Dan. Something like that, yeah. We have a trail name for him, but we can't tell him yet. Because he's got to earn that by getting back on trail. Ah. He is injured right now, and he has a doctor's appointment today, and I hope it, everything goes well. We've got Black Hole here. <laughs> With, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm not gang? responsible for any gang symbols. <laughs> None. Yeah. Drop the gang signs, fantastic. <laughs> and then we've got PJs over here, he just rolled in today. And the only one that's not a Southbounder is actually Wildfire. She is crazy and she's going northbound. So now we're going to take you down to the shower which is very fancy and you have probably never seen anything like it it's a little bit different we have to travel down the gnome path this is Mr. Gnome we're gonna travel down the gnome path there is a nice creek here this is the water source for everybody and everything including all the plants and people and, uh, yes, you do need to filter your water. It's not a big deal. We're all hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's totally understandable. 
There's a nice little spot here. You're probably not going to be able to see it because it's not sunny. But right there is a pretty deep spot. So if you want to take an ice bath, sit in there up to your neck. It's quite cold. Yeah, it. it's great for your muscles to ice before you heat them up and relax them. But I didn't feel like doing that because I was pretty cold. It, it was pretty cold. So we've got this fancy shower here. Shall we see it? This is it. Right here. Yep, that's it, folks. We have a brand new this year propane heated shower. That is hot water. And be very gentle with the knob to turn up the heat. This one right here. Because it gets scalding hot. Ask me how I know. I accidentally turned it too far. So we have this lovely bucket right here. That uh, is of course stream water. Goes into this lovely bucket here. We have this fancy switch right here that turns the water on. Ooh, look, magical water. And then we have a fancy switch under here that turns on the fire. Then you wait about 30 seconds or so. The water will heat up. They've got some lovely soaps here, Dr. Bromer's, or some handmade soap, uh, all organic. I think it's vegan friendly if you're into that. Turn that off. And conserve water even though we don't have to. More so conserving the electricity. Because everything here has a battery. And the batteries take time to charge. So, uh, that's pretty much it. There is one more little lean-to section that's right next to this creek. It's a great place for couples to stay. But if it if you're really busy and you want the whole family to stay in there, you might be able to arrange something with Steve. Uh, it's pretty big. We do have one that is currently where Dan is staying as he remains resident here. And, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the hiker hut. I uh, spent uh, spent a bunch of ta time in town yesterday in Rangeley, which was uh, which was really nice. Except for the fact that I spent most of the day at the library working on YouTube videos. There are more of these videos up, and now I feel like I need to ask anybody who watches these to subscribe because I need to make it to a hundred before I can have a custom web page that's a lot easier to give out than trying to type out a bunch of alphanumeric characters in a weird combination to send someone a video and then they have to go through the hassle of finding the video that they want to my homepage. Rather I could just send them straight to the homepage and it would be a lot simpler. So. I think I have nine subscribers right now. That means I only need 91 more people that want to follow me. I, I'm not sure. That, that may be a bad idea. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> you know it is. Don't lie. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys later on trail.